Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe so you get notified when we drop more content. In this screencast, we're going to see how we can use the debug button on the Flow Builder to display the debug details while running the flow. We have a simple flow here using elements from the toolbox, which captures contact information from a user. Queries your Salesforce org for a contact record that matches what the user enters. Decides whether to update the matching contact record or create a new contact. Creates or updates a record. To debug the flow, we have to click the Debug button in the Flow Builder. When you click the Debug button, you see the flow's first screen on the left-hand panel and the debug details on the right-hand panel. As you step through the flow, new details are added to the right-hand panel. Enter the input variables first name and last name to create a contact and click Next, and the debug details will display on the right-hand panel. The first card identifies who started the flow interview. The second card summarizes how the inputs from the first screen were stored for the flow interview to use. The third card checks to see if the contact already exists by using an element from the toolbox. The fourth card summarizes how the update or create decision was evaluated. The fifth card summarizes the create contact element. If the decision card has found a match, then this fifth card would be update contact. Let's take a couple of scenarios. If the input field for the last name is not filled in and the user clicks Next, the debug log shows the error that required field last name is missing and displays this error message. Another scenario is if there is a validation rule on the contact object that the email address is a required value. Here we can see that even though the email field is required, it wasn't put on the page layout, so the user doesn't fill it in. Debug is rerun, Flow will fail to create a record, and you will get this message on the screen. So the Debug button is a really powerful way to see what's happening at each step in the flow and help you identify where a flow might be broken and causing an error so you can fix it. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.